Okay, switching gears again. This time it's a bonus fight on the Oddsbreaker segment. And from Bellator. It, for me, this is one of the most exciting fights coming up, even though it is from a smaller organization. Um, Michael Chandler's taking on Rick Hahn. So I wanted to really break the odds with you guys here today on this fight. And we're going to start off with uh, Larry first on this particular matchup. I'm going to open up Michael Chandler, minus 170. The comeback on Rick Hahn is going to be plus 140. Again, this is for the Bellator lightweight title. So give me your take and give me your bet. Listen, I love this fight on um, Chandler, 10 and 0, 7 and 0 in Bellator. And what I like about him is he's just relentless. He, he keeps coming, high level wrestling, and he has a great chin. And I, and I think that's gonna be a big part of this fight. He took some huge shots against Eddie Alvarez and just never stopped. And, and I suspect the same thing here. He reminds me a little bit of Chael Sonnen in that regard and that they're elite wrestlers who also have good enough chins to take some punishment and still get deep and get the takedown. Hahn has been impressive, no doubt about it. 14 and one, nine by knockout. He definitely, I think, has a power advantage over Michael Chandler, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I think he's gonna get worn out. I think Chandler's pace will be too much, and I think Chandler retains his lightweight belt in Bellator. Okay, so great stuff from Larry. He is favoring Chandler in this particular matchup, and it's gonna be 850 to win $500 on that play. Let's throw it over to Luca. Luca, do you agree or disagree? I do agree. I know I'm on all favorites for this episode, but that's just the way it happens sometimes. I got to go with Chandler here, though. I can't take the price on the dog. I definitely like Chandler to win. I mean, if you look at Rick Hahn, yeah, he's looked really good since dropping down to lightweight against guys like um, Lloyd Woodard and uh, Ricardo Tirloni, but then he fought Brent Weedman and didn't really look all that great. He also faded a little bit in the third round, whereas Michael Chandler, <clears throat> excuse me, he looked phenomenal against Eddie Alvarez. He looked great against Patricky Ferreira. He's looked great his entire time in Bellator against better fighters than Rick Hahn has fought. And so as far as the competition, I got to give an edge to Chandler there. I thought he's fought the better guys and has looked better doing it. And as far as the skills go, Hahn, he is more powerful, but he's actually kind of slow in the stand-up. I think uh, Chandler definitely has a speed advantage. Uh, Chandler has the wrestling advantage where Hahn has a judo advantage, but I think that Chandler's wrestling will be able to be more effective here. We've seen um, Hahn's judo has not looked all that great in MMA. In terms of submissions, neither guy actually has that much of a submission game, even though Han has that judo background. So I think the fight will probably be on the feet. If it does go to the ground, I think it'll be Chandler initiating it. But on the feet, I really like um, Chandler's speed to win the fight here. I think he has very good in and out movement. We saw in a, his fight versus Patricky Ferreri, who's a very dangerous, powerful striker. He's able to get inside with jabs and hooks and then get out before Patrick, you could even counter him. I think he can do something similar to Han. I definitely think he has a better cardio. He also has a great chin, like Larry said. So I think we're going to see this probably go to the fourth, fifth round and probably even see a decision. And I think over the course of those rounds, Chandler will just be a little bit better in the striking, land a little bit more, not get clipped with anything too big. And I think we see him uh, defend his title in a pretty impressive win. Okay, so Luca is also going to roll with Chandler here. It's going to be 850 to win $500, and I think it's going to be an ultra-competitive fight, uh, but you guys are probably on the right track here. Both of our experts agree that Chandler is a side over Han. Um, stay tuned for what Miguel and I have to say during our Oddsbreaker adjustment segment.